Hello YouTube. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, some other UCO candle lantern products. Now, a lot of people don't really know that UCO, who's famous for their, their candle lanterns, um, makes some different other products um, that are candle lantern based. And uh, we managed to pick up one that's, uh, that most people might not be aware about and maybe more of use to people who are doing ultralight camping and still want to bring a candle lantern. And whatnot. They make a small version that uses key candle in it, key candles. You know the hurricane candles. Some people call them. And uh, any standard uh, tea candle will work. You don't have to buy their special ones if you don't want to. And uh, you just put them in there and twist the base to set it. You know, after you've lit it, and hang it somewhere, or you can set it on the table. And these are surprisingly uh, good and uh, work well. Now, one experiment that we're currently playing with this one is is that we also f have found a uh, little uh, lamp oil lamp uh, lantern things that will fit down in the in there that are the same size diameter as these and uh, we ran one test with with one t with it once and uh, we had a, an issue with the oil uh, creating a soot on the top roof of this that slowly got larger and, and burnt so we haven't found the quite right mixture of, of uh, oil to use in them so uh, we're not ready to, to make a video on that but we will do a follow-up video on that once we uh, get our experimentation done with that but it is possible to burn uh, oil uh, in these as well um, also they make citronella tea candles and you can also get beeswax tea can, uh, candles as well, you know, this format for these lanterns. Now, as far as the protective case, I'm not sure if they make one for this size. This one doesn't fit in this one. It's uh, too big. Um, so there's no uh, protective foam case like there is on this one. Another thing is we've discovered is that they make a, some additional accessories for lighting, you know, guiding the light uh, for this one. But one of the things we found is, is that the rear reflector doesn't work unless you bend this piece, which would make it not work on this one. So you have to kind of experiment with that to get that to work, because when you hook it in there, it hangs like that instead of fl flush. But you could bend it and uh, make it fit. This can go on here. It's a bit of a tight fit, but it will squeeze down on there. And uh, you can have the reflector on it like this. This little thing is kind of nice because when you're not using it, you basically just take it. And it folds down flat. And, uh, you know, it's primarily designed for use with the uh, standard candle lantern. And as you can see, one of the, uh, the benefits of a smaller one 
is that due to its uh, size, using the smaller candles, you're not having to pack around a bunch of these, which take up more space. Now the caveat is, this burns for nine hours. This, these little candles, will only give you three to, three to five hours of burn time. Uh, five hours under optimal conditions and you know it's just no wind and perfect and everything um, you're more likely to get three and a half to four hours um, especially if you're not using their branded candles um, they don't really make a long burn tea candle um, but the fact is is that you can stack five or six of them inside here when you're transporting it and uh, and have all your candles and everything compact in one space whereas this you have to have a separate bag to put your candles in or keep them in a three-pack box which uh, I buy my candles for this in bulk so I just put them in a bag but uh, this is good like if you're doing you know some simple hiking this is better suited for uh, base camp or uh, car camping uh, this one puts off a lot more light and uh, you know whereas this one doesn't put as much light out it it's small and it's less likely to tip over or fall over because it's lower to the table or whatever you're putting it in but anyway um, if you uh, like this, hopefully it uh, helped you out, made you uh, see what options are available, and you know, and if it assists you in making a purchase, uh, good. If not, well, hopefully we uh, we entertained you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more, click subscribe. You can also click on the bell icon to receive notifications when we upload new videos. If you have questions or suggestions for new videos, please leave a comment down below. You can also consider supporting us on Patreon, and or you can join us on our Discord server Links will be in the description below.